All right, so I actually had somebody ask that they wanted to see the bumper when it was finished on the car. So um, we're gonna just throw together a short real fast. Um, this is uh, throw some guide coat on it. I'm gonna block this thing out, sand this, and then we're gonna get it mounted on the car. We're gonna paint this car hopefully later today or tomorrow. Got it all sanded out. I'm actually surprised because I um, was expecting, honestly, to still have more flaws in this bumper and need to possibly coat it uh, twice to get it to look good. I wasn't gonna coat it twice because of what the car is. Um, but yeah, that's uh, show y'all over it real fast. There's not, I mean, as you can see, the guide coat is all the dark spots. So you know, you got little tiny flaws like this that I'm not, that I'm not messing with. I could actually probably sand them right out. All of these are smoothed out. Um, they were imperfection, not messing with none of this. It's just my edges. Uh, you know, you got some little imperfections right there. Uh, down here, down low, it gets a little more boogery because I didn't take my time on it. But this is gonna be on the bottom of the car so you'll never see it. Uh, all of that sanded out. Then we're actually cut throughs where it's sanded out smooth. So that's gonna look amazing. So overall, the bumper is gonna look really good after it's painted and put through paint. And I will show you all it uh, when we get all the way through paint with it. So I was just gonna show everybody there's the bumper on the car before we go into paint. That way uh, nobody thinks that there's any trick stuff going on because you always have that one guy later on down the road that says uh, you threw the bumper in the trash and you uh, didn't use it. So there it is mounted on the car. Uh, Ed's about to scuff it for paint, wash it, and then we're gonna get it in here and uh, shoot it. I'll show you what it looks like. All right, so there's our Lincoln. We just painted this thing earlier and we've already rushed it, pulled it outside. But I know a couple of y'all wanted to see the bumper. So this is the one that was demolished in the front that we put the bumper back together on. Ed's already got pinstripes back on and everything. And I know y'all don't care about that. This is what y'all wanted to see. So there's your bumper. All right, so, and then there are flaws. I'll show you the flaws. You know, this is where I did not sand my paint chips good that were in there, where I didn't clean up my edges good. Uh, there's the little nick I think I showed y'all. Uh, let me see, because I don't care. I'll show y'all all the flaws. Little nicks around the edges that needed to be sanded better, more nicks that need to be sanded better. He's actually didn't sand none of that. Uh, over here, the car had actually already been hit once. So this is actually, it's kind of hard to see in the camera. You can see where, I think that was where I had hit the plastic, where I was I was cutting this down really low to try to get a little nick out of it, um, you know, without having to do more work. But it's hard to see in the camera. But trust me, there's a dimp, a dimple here, uh, where it's down, where it should have actually had more filler. There's a uh, paint chip right there that didn't get sanded out. You know, the edges didn't get sanded out. Uh, all the edges right there didn't get sanded out. So I'm not scared to point out my uh, flaws because. This is a salvage title car. I mean, I'm not sitting here trying to pass it off as it's something spectacular, you know? There's more stuff that didn't get sanded. But overall, what this video is about, you know, putting this bumper back together, you're solid. So if you'll do this yourself on your projects and you will um, take more time than I do on prep, you'll get a better job. I mean, I'll try to even get you all the reflection like this. It's not dimpled in, it's nice and straight, it looks good. You know, I'm not I'm not hiding, not here to hide nothing. So, a uh, decent little car saved us 500 bucks on the bumper. Hopefully, it'll help somebody else out. Uh, the boys got it all cleaned up, got the paper mat in it. All they're doing is waiting for floor mats, brand new floor mats to arrive from Advance, and then this thing's going on a lot for sale. So, like, comment, subscribe, share. There's your update. Like I said, if you want to know anything, one guy asked, um, and that's red paint. I'm painting Randy's car, like boost literally, and they're running right now. Or paint randy's parts uh one guy literally asked you know he was like let's see it whenever it's on the car all right i'll give it to you so ask whatever you want and i'll try to deliver it thanks y'all